Hello guys and welcome back to this channel, where today guys I'll be showing you how to view transaction history in Phantom Wallet. So guys, the first thing that you need to do is go to the App Store and download the Phantom Wallet application. Now when you did that, you just need to go and connect your wallet to the Phantom Wallet. But guys, if you're struggling with both of these things and you do not know how to do them, you can always go to our YouTube channel where we have plenty of how-to Phantom Wallet videos where you can see how you can do this. Now, guys, that we got that out of the way, let's see what we actually have in front of us. So here, as you can see, we have the uh, application where you can receive, buy and send tokens, and we can also manage the token list. Also, uh, here, as you, can see, as you can see, we have your account settings, so you can manage your accounts, we have preferences, security and privacy, active networks, address books, so connected apps, developer settings, help and support, and about the Phantom application. Also here, we have your collectibles. So basically, this is a search bar where we have your collectibles. At the moment, I don't have any, but guys, be sure when you have some, they will appear here. Here, we can go and swap your tokens. So basically, you can click here to uh, change the positions. And guys, this is a recent activity where you can see all of your recent activity. Again, I don't have any at the moment. That's why this is empty, but be sure you will have some when you have it. Here, you have your sites, tokens, quests, and learn, and also a search uh, or type a URL at the moment. And of course, now let's see guys how to view transaction history in Phantom Wallet. Navigate to your U your Phantom account and find the option for downloading your complete transaction history. Then you need to import your transaction history directly into Coin la uh, Ledger by mapping the data into the preferred CSV file format. Coin Ledger automatically generates your gains, losses, and income tax reports based on this data. So guys, that is everything for this video. I hope that you found it informative. If you did, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, put the notifications on, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.